Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one. This is gonna be a different type of video and I'm really excited because I finally have my overhead camera set up. Um, anytime I've done videos like this, which is very rare, I just use my phone. So I'm excited because I'm hands-free. All right, I'm gonna be going through all of my palettes from Melt Cosmetics. I just wanna check out the shades. There are some that I may possibly want to declutter and there are are some that I may want to revamp. I did reconstruct some of the shades in my melt palettes and I'll show you those and um, I might do some reconstruction in this video once I figure out what I want to do. So if that sounds good to you keep watching this video let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right let's get started. I really love Melt Cosmetics, but as you all know, Melt can be really hit or miss. There are some palettes that are favorites of mine, and there are some that are just, uh, they need some work. So let's just go through them. I'm not sure if any are gonna be actually decluttered, but there are for sure gonna be some that need to be reconstructed. Let's start with the Rust palette. This is my first Melt palette. And it's actually one of my favorite palettes that I own. And I already did some reconstruction in this palette. Um, it's a little messy. But the shade that got reconstructed is the shade Classic. And this shade was, um, it was a matte blend out shade that I just wasn't going to use. So I took a shade from one of my Give Me Glow shades that I just wasn't using because of those big pans. And it's a single. And I put that in place of classic and this isn't like the best quality of shimmer but actually it's not bad at all it's better than what was there so i left that here for an inner corner highlight that's pretty much the only spot i'm going to use this shade all of the rest of the shades in here are great quality and uh, as far as i'm concerned this palette still performs really well so there's nothing that I want to change in this palette. This was just a great release from Melt. And this is what actually got me hooked onto the brand. So we're gonna leave this one alone. I'm not going in any particular order with these palettes. Gemini is a palette I found last year in 2022. I wanna say at the Sephora sale, it was like the last day. This was the, I think the spring sale. And I was so happy to catch this because a lot of people really wanted this palette to come back. I don't have anything that I'm gonna mess with in this palette. It's fairly new. And sometimes these shades seem like they can be a little hard panty, but it's nothing that tape won't fix. Some of the melt shimmers really do feel rough but they still perform very well. So Gemini is another one I'm leaving alone. 27 is probably tied with Rust for my favorite Melt palette. And I got this one last year, I think on sale at Beauty Bay. And I love this. It's like kind of a cooler tone sister to the Rust palette, which I just think these are just both great palettes. Like looking at them, ooh, they're magnetic. Looking at them, uh, side by side and this one has the two shimmers the melt mattes are really nice so this is just going to be one that i'm going to leave alone as well all right let's check out she's in parties now a lot of people love the formula in she's in parties i have not used this palette in a while so let's see what it's looking like and swatching like so this is their eight pan palette this palette right here has a questionable shade. So Mel, I just feel like they're not good with the light shimmers. I just find them to be a bit ashy and chalky. So let's look at Skeleton Kiss. I'm almost, oh, see, I don't know if you can see that. It's going to like probably blend out nicely, but it's okay. Like I'm not a huge fan of it let's look at strange love i mean these are just they're okay but people this one's this one's all right 
but people really loved this palette and I did too this one's smooth she's in parties this one's this one's fine this one's this one's good too so I'm gonna put a piece of tape on skeleton kiss uh, I'm just might need to deconstruct that I just think I may have something better with since I'm deconstructing palettes I'm gonna put it on strange love as well it's definitely not a palette that I want to get rid of but I do think I can make this palette better I have a lot of indie singles and I don't use them a lot and I'd like to make sure that I'm doing that so that's going to be in the reconstruct pile all right 420 420 has been reconstructed already I do want to look at these mats again at some point so I will bring this palette out to use there was a mat one of these was a mat I can't remember but it was terrible it was so bad I don't even understand what was happening and I know this palette gave a lot of folks problems so what I did was I actually replaced two shades I'm I know one was a shimmer and one was a matte. Chronic may have been the matte. I don't know. I can't even tell you what I used to replace it, but look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, yes. Like this? Yes, okay. That's what I need from shimmers. Shatter. I wish I could tell you where I got these shades from. I should have written it down, but it's been so long. I do need to check out the rest of the mats and see how they perform. This was just a great color story and it was just unfortunate that this palette did not perform the way that people wanted it to. And I got this palette late. I got this palette knowing that it was disappointing. So, you know, I knew I was gonna have to do some manipulating with this palette. But I'm gonna leave that the way it is because I like the way I changed it. All right, the Amori Mariposas is one of my brand new loves. Took me about a year to love it, but I do. There is not anything about this palette that I would change. Still bothered by the change in shape. I love the traditional melt pan shape that were in the previous palettes that I was just showing you guys, but uh, this one's great. Uh, the formula's great, shimmers look good, not chalky, not rough, not ashy. They're great. They really are. Even like this blue, like my Muerte blue is a little, mm, I don't know, it's like sandpapery. These are not like that. So I am going to leave this one alone. I'm going to put this in the pile with the palettes that I'm going to leave alone. And I'm sorry if any of this is off uh, center or anything. This is my first time filming with my camera, as I was saying. So just bear with me all right let's check out recently deceased okay this was the holiday collection from what 2021 2020 2020 recently deceased was the beetlejuice palette i am gonna leave this alone i know lots of similar shades but this formula is nice this shade right here it's okay like it could use some work but you know, you smooth it out, it's fine. Like, I'm not gonna mess with it. Oh, this even came out nice. I was concerned about this one. Yeah, like, recently deceased is fine. I want to keep it in my collection and I'm gonna leave it alone. And the partner to that was The Waiting Room. Very, very unique color story. Again, we have some similar shades. We do have some similar shades here, but, um, again these formulas nice like i don't really have any problems this shade juno is a chunky one it's if i were to change one it would be this i'm going to put a piece of tape on this just in case i might have something that can go here but not sure as of right now part of me wants to just leave it alone but juno isn't really a great shade it's just not I'm gonna put this in the reconstruct pile. And again, I may leave it, but we'll see. All right, Smoke Sessions. Smoke Sessions is a classic palette from Melt. Uh, this one's probably gonna need some work. Uh, the shade Black Widow, I don't know. It keeps getting hard pan. I was looking at it today, but I love this shade. Like, it's one of the best shades. But look as I wipe over it with my finger, it just gets hard pan. Like. And nothing is on my finger to show for all that wiping. 
So I, I don't know if that shade's always been like that. I don't know if I'm just becoming pickier, but this shade is not it for me right now. Like this shade is swatching fine. This one's okay, Gravity OG. And it could be maybe the palette's getting old. At this point, I just don't remember. Blue Dream, chalky, ashy shade. It's not horrible, but it's just not, I mean, come on. Like, it looks okay, and the camera might be making it look okay. I don't know. Sweet Tooth, even, I, I don't know. Is this palette, like... Let me know what y'all think about smoke sessions, if you still use it or remember how you felt about it or if you saw any content creators using it. How did they feel about this palette? Because the color story is great, but I, I need to put tape over the whole palette. The mattes are probably fine and I love them. Like really pigmented and rich Space Queen and this one Sour Diesel, like these are great. But these shimmers are leaving something to be desired for me right now. But this color story is very inspiring. If I have something that I can put in, you know, to create this color story again, I would definitely uh, do that. So this is going to go into the reconstruction pile. All right, we'll do Muerte and Vita together. I am not going to mess with these palettes. Vita, I've only used like once. I mean, this is just beautiful. Again, these uh, shimmers feel a little rough. This one's this one's not bad. This one, it's okay. But I'm leaving this one alone. Muerte, this is new. I just got this one last year. And I didn't enjoy using it as much as I thought I would, which is unfortunate, but I kind of knew that was going to be the case because the colors that I'm gravitating towards are starting to change, but it is a palette that I wanted to have in my collection. And this was like highly sought after. So I, this shimmer is okay. I don't enjoy how they feel. Same with this one. The shimmers are just all right. And uh, Kalaka, I think that's how you say it. This is kind of, mm, it's, like it's okay. I don't know why I just feel like they're dusty. It looks like you can smooth them out and they'll be okay. But I don't know. I kind of feel like if I'm not going to enjoy putting them on, then what are we doing here? This one's got hard pan. I don't understand why these shades are so hard panny. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to put a piece of tape on this one. I might be able to find something for that. So we'll see. I don't know. I will. I have no problem altering palettes. So, so I'll use them. All right. Let's talk about Mary Jane. Mary Jane has already been reconstructed. Mary Jane is beautiful. And this was about to be returned. I'm so glad I came to my senses. But Mary Jane and Callie were terrible. They were the same type of formula as Kalaka and Muerte and like the one uh, Skeleton Kiss, I think, and she's in parties and one that I'll show you in Blueprint, like just those ashy kind of shimmers. So I found two shimmers that were pretty much the same exact color from probably Give Me Glow. And I put those on the outer edges because look at that, like, yes. I mean, this really enhances the palette. The other shimmers are, are fine. Like the other ones, they're great. I have no, no issues. They look good. Okay, that one doesn't. Hold on. Sweet Tooth. Ooh, ooh, no. Oh no, not this crumbly map. Okay, we don't have to, we might have to. We'll do a part two reconstruction. Mm. Bomba, what's happening, Bomba? Oh no, why are they so dusty? Oh no. Mm -mm. You get a piece of tape. This? Why are they so crusty? Do y'all see that? Now, once you get them smoothed out, they're fine. All right. I'm not certain what's going on with that. 
Uh, this has a, this is going to go in a potential. Oh, God, this is sad. All right. That's why it's important for me to go through my stuff and then maybe I won't buy as much because this is ridiculous. I, I don't know if they're getting old or whether they always like that and now I'm bougie. All right, Gemini 2, this palette just did not work for me. Uh, it's such a disappointment because the colors all look the same on my skin. So like these two look the same, these two look the same, these all look the same. It just didn't do what I needed it to do. It didn't lend itself for the variety. Now the mattes are gonna be fine, but for me less is more with this palette, just using one or two shades. This is a companion palette for me at best. Let's check out Mateo. Check y'all uh, palettes, check your Gemini 2 palettes because I know Dr. Ash, her palette has mold on it and I know there were some other content creators when they got their palette, it had mold on it. So, you know, she's had hers for about a, a year, but it shouldn't be getting mold, so that's all right. This one, what is this, Schmood? Schmood is like kind of silky smooth, you know, it's all right. This, ooh. Some of these may go with the She's and Parties palette. So I just, and um, what's the other one? Smoke Sessions. So that's a, a potential that I could do, but I could, I could do that because I, I don't think I'm gonna use this palette. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna, I want to and I wanted it to work, but the reality is that it's not working. So do I just let it sit in the box and in a drawer to bring it out for videos like this? Or do I find a way to make it work? Let me just see real fast. What did I say? Oh, smoke sessions. Let's see something. Oh, my battery's about to die. This one, it's not the same, but close, right? These two. And like taking one of these grungy greens. Yeah, so that's, that's an idea. What was the other one? What was the other palette? She's in parties. Mm, I don't think, no, none of these are going to go with she's and parties, but maybe smoke sessions. Yes. Okay, that's a thought. That is a thought. We do have a few palettes left, so we're going to talk about Brunette. And Brunette is a palette that I reconstructed <laughs> immediately because it had two blend out shades that I wasn't going to use. Unfortunately, one of the shades that I tried to replace it with was a matte and eventually it just all fell out. So I am going to have to replace this with a shimmer. I love browns and purples together. So this is from Give Me Glow. I absolutely love this color. Look at that. Look at that. This would go great in the She's and Parties palette as well. But this is just spectacular. Now let's look at the rest of these. So we have Musk, which that's that's good. Let's look at Stout. I went out of order. Stout. Stout's fine. And then Bourbon. Bourbon's okay too. So these are still good like to find something to put in here. I have mentioned in a recent video that I am reading The Magic Art of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. One of the things she talks about is do your possessions spark joy. And one of the things I'm noticing with these melt palettes is, you know, when I don't like the way something feels, you know, or how it's crumbly or whatever, that is not giving me any type of joy, you know, for the money that I've spent. It does not make me want to put the palette on and use it. So I am going to have to find a way to revamp these with what I have to make me want to use them or I'm going to get rid of them. And it, it has to be that drastic because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. This is a palette that has the potential to be great. I just need a, another shade. It's great like this, but I'm... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna want to put something here. So I will figure that out. So this is going back into the reconstruction pile for a second reconstruction. All right, Blueprint is another one that's, I'm not sure if I'm reconstructing this or just deconstructing it and maybe putting some of these neutral shades into other palettes. The blues and browns together, I love, I love this. But this shade, Skylight, another kind of just, a nothing shade for me. Let's see, Deadbolt. Deadbolt. Deadbolt's okay. There's nothing wrong with Deadbolt. Dim out that, that navy matte. This is fine. Really pigmented. K 
king stud i feel like i don't know should be giving me a little more than it does like look at that what is that why is this happening i it's not it's not a bad shimmer but it's taken a lot to get it to this potential and i'm just not sure how much i'm going to use it i'm not sure if it needs tape on it let's see Like sometimes you have to get past that layer. I just still feel like just going like this, you should be able to get something and that's ridiculous. I don't have to try that hard like with other palettes that I have. So I, that one just needs to go. Now beaming is okay. It's a little chalky, a little dusty. Hot wire, I would keep hot wire. I don't have a problem with that. Hammered is a nice brown matte that I maybe can put in She's in Parties, but I, I mean, not She's in Parties, Brunette. Nailed, I would keep nailed. Did come down here? He didn't. So I'm kind of done with this palette, to be honest. I'm gonna just see maybe if I can salvage these four, maybe, or maybe not even beaming, but these three, and then this matte. Deadbolt, Deadbolt's not bad. Maybe I could just put that with my single shadows. And we have one more palette and this is Millennial Pinks. I think this one has gone as low as $20. And that's because the shimmers are trash. They're not good. They are not good. And I almost want to replace all of them. Let me just go through them with you. So Rose Brunch, Rose Brunch, Rose Brunch. Where We've seen you? so many shades like this, like through Indie. There's just, Good. it's okay. But again, Melt just has these kind of crumbly lighter shades that really aren't doing much for me. Mixed Emotions is just that. It's okay. Bit dusty in my opinion. I don't like these dusty shades. They just look ashy. Once you blend them out, they don't look bad, but who wants to do all that? Ruby, Star, Ruby, what's this? Ruby Spar. Let's see. I have now. This palette is a newer melt palette for me, but it's like, why is it so dusty and crumbly? Pink noise. It's okay. I just don't think I like the texture and then moon glow. We've seen lots of nice silver shades. Uh, this one, you kind of, kind of have to scrape it a lot and that's what you get. So, you know, I'm just spoiled, I think, by other brands. I'm just spoiled, I am. But these mattes are good and I, I don't want to get rid of this palette because of the shimmers, especially because these are in magnetic pans that I can just pop out, scrape these out and press something back in. It's going to be fairly easy for me to reconstruct these. So I'm going to kind of table this video for right now until I figure out what I want to use as replacements and I'll be back in a second to start this process. Okay, so let's start with Smoke Sessions. Black Widow is the shade. I am gonna leave Sweet Tooth and Blue Dream alone because I can't find anything that I wanna replace them with yet. But Black Widow and actually Gravity OG, this is another one where it's like barely anything is coming up. Granddaddy is fine. This one, I, I don't know if it was always like this or not, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to grab this out there it is now the shade that I'm going to use to replace it is this one that I found from clarity cosmetics and I think one of my friends Tasha I think she sent me this one and I am just going to replace this if I have anything extra I think I do have some empty pans where I can um, put the extra in there I'm just gonna start by taking this out I meant to do that on a paper towel <laughs> yeah this is just a mess yes okay you have to come in here how do you put 
put the string in here. Oh. So these pans do have a fair amount of eyeshadow in them. I'm not sure if a regular 26 millimeter pan would fill it. Um, I didn't bother to see how much is in each pan, but this is cleaned out. So now what I'm going to do is I, I probably don't even need to uh, like really crush this up because what I typically do is crush this up and then scoop it in and press it. So let's just see. I don't know if this is going to take the whole pan. But if it does, I'll know, you know, how much I need. Yeah, I think I, mm, let's see. Because usually I'll chop this up really fine and then crush it and press it in. But I don't know if I need to do that. If I don't have to use the whole shade, you know, I won't. Because I'm sure I can use this for something else. Yeah, the easier way is probably to crush it up. So we'll see how this goes in. And if, if not, I'll take it out and chop it up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Now see, that's that's what I need from the shade. I do think this can hold a little more. Did I say the name of the shade? Maybe. Poison Ivy. I don't know if I said that. I didn't. Thank you, August. I'm like I've never worn that shade, so now it's like it's going to get worn cuz this other shade was done. And I like smoke sessions. Like it's not a palette that I don't want anymore. I'm not sure how much more I can put in here because I don't have a whole lot left. There's probably no point of saving the rest of it, so. I'm trying to do like a little drop test. Make sure that it's in there. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna pack more in there if I can. Huh? I mean, you would never be able to tell the difference. Who? Remastering. So now I have a new Black Widow shade. Still want to see if I can pack more in, because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be done with this. All right. So it looks like these do take about a 36 millimeter pan's worth of shadow, just about. Swatch it one more time. No hard pan. This looks great. Do a little drop test Mama, to make look. sure. It's not going down. I see. I'll just go back and clean that up later. All right, so the next shade we're gonna work with is Gravity OG. So I'm gonna take this out. Now the shade that I'm going to use to replace this is a shade that my friend Kelly from Keep Beauty Real gave me very, very early on. I'm going to use the shade Gold from JD Glow. Yeah, I've had this forever. I'm just going to chop it up really fine. And foil is probably better so you don't waste any of it with the paper towel. I'm just going to start scooping it in. This was probably way better. I'm probably gonna take Black Widow out and redo it. Cause look, it's like way nicer. That's that's in really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the pan. I'm gonna do Black Widow the same way. Cause look, that came out like, that's perfect. All right, so I just have to clean this up, but there's my new Smoke Sessions palette. So I'm happy with this. I'll have to try it out, see how it works, but you already saw that these two swatches look great and they're not really different from the shadows that are already in the palette. There we go. Good as new. All right, now Millennial Pinks, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to completely fix up today. Um, this one just has, I could pretty much replace all five of these shimmers but we're gonna just start today so i'm gonna pull out and show you guys some of the shades that i'm looking at to replace some of the shimmers here and it's not really going to be these two just yet i don't think well, possibly let me just show you what i've got here now unearthly cosmetics sent me their heat bundle i never go for these although the shades are beautiful 
So we have searing, which is here. I have fever, lit, and I've got ignite. Then I also have follow me from Give Me Glow. I've got firework from Give Me Glow. Caddy pillar from Luxie, which might be mixed with something. You can mix it. Sky flower from Luxie. Ever After is a highlighter, but you can maybe able to see that iridescence here that this shade kind of actually no let's put that aside I think I have this for she's in parties actually so put that aside this is a highlighter from Luxy stiletto but I might that might be for um, she's in parties guilty pleasure all right so I'm really looking at one two three and four this silver shade I don't I have to look to see what I want to do with this the one I know I want to go is Ruby Spar. Such a beautiful shade, but you see I have all these. So that's the shade we're looking to replace. So I have Ignite. Let's just see what looks close. Okay, that's a little deeper, so it's not really right on. Put that to the side. We've got a Fever. Let's see. Just watch it here. Then now this is closer. Fever is pretty close, not exact. I just don't use these and they're gorgeous. They really are. Uh, searing, put that right here. Searing is gorgeous too. I mean, none of them are exact. And then let's, let's look at follow me. Oh, follow me is like, I just want to put this in there anyway. Look at that. That right here is just, this is, mm. So let me swatch this one more time next to it. I mean, you see how crumbly it is? <sighs> Wait, let me do Fever. Is Fever the closest to it? Cause I don't need it to be exact. Follow Me is just that shade though. I'm trying to think if I don't, like where am I gonna use Follow Me? I never use this. This is so pretty. Oh my God, look at that. I mean, these two are really close. This one's off, but I don't think it would look bad in this palette. And searing, let's look at searing one more time. Searing, oh my God. Searing looks good. Searing looks really good. Is that what I just watched searing? Hold on, let me make sure. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I wanna put searing in here. I just think that's gonna look so good. So let's do that. It's crazy because this looks so beautiful. Like, it's crazy. This looks so beautiful like this. I'm going to go ahead and scratch this all out of here. You see, the foil is going to be a lot better because it's not going to hold any of the shadow. And this is pretty fine already, but. Okay, Ooh, this looks so good. Let's see if I can get this last little bit. And that's another reason that the foil is good because you can get, get it all out easily. Yes, come on. That That's what I need in Millennial Pinks because mm -mm, I don't know what they were doing. I really don't. All right, um, let's see if we want to work with another color here. So Mixed Emotions is kind of a dusty pink. I kind of don't think I have anything that's going to go. This will be perfect in the palette. Let's look at Rose Brunch. This would kind of, I don't think it's going to look bad though. If we put Rose Brunch here because if you look at it you got like this beautiful like this is a pink blend out pink transition i mean i think i think these all go well this right here is just this needs to go like it really does As a matter of fact this how much would i use pink leather i'm gonna leave pink leather i'm gonna leave the mattes and then what's this one pink noise and then i have this this is a highlighter. This isn't really pink. It's gold. 
Uh, this one needs to go immediately though. So let's take out Rose Brunch and let's put in, I'm gonna put in this shade, Firework, gorgeous, yes. I think I'm gonna enjoy this a lot more than Rose Brunch. Um, so, I mean, the silver does need to be replaced. It does, but I don't, like, I, I just need a better silver. But right now, I don't know if it's a need because I'm gonna use this as an inner corner highlight. I, you know, I probably would do like a little lid like a halo type i probably wouldn't put it all over the lid but this is poor like i don't know what's happening with that and the other one that would be really gorgeous in this palette is this one um ignite because ignite is different all together so if we swipe i might just do that ignite look at that and then searing i mean these are two different and although this is nowhere near the color I just think mm, this let's do it this is gonna give the palette just a whole different vibe I think it's gonna look really nice like with these pinks let me just see if I have anything else that we could use I just don't think I do these are some glam shop shadows and I noticed that I just really have not been using these but in order to do that I would have to mix shades I just don't see anything close to that shade. I mean, we can mix, oh, wait a minute. Like this one, Affair, this is really pretty. Like we could mix, ooh, damn, Affair is nice. Uh, Affair and Skyflower could work, even though I said I was gonna you know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. I think put these two together, put it here. Affair and Sky Flower will go great for mixed emotions and then we will no longer have mixed emotions. So we just need the silver shade. I don't have that. I don't have that and I'm sad because I want to be done with it. So some of these, like I'm not ultra okay. And here's the time for, you know, one of these time. You know what I noticed y'all? Let me know if you know. My Tom Ford shades do not smell good and they're not old. Like I did try to deposit this and this was a fail. Like if they smell and I don't enjoy, I do not enjoy. These are my Pat McGrath quads right here. This is um, Ritualistic Rose. This is um, Nirvana, whatever one that one is. And then Iconic Illumination. I have the other shade here. Um, the purple is drying out. I'm gonna use that for my BYOP chopping block shade. Then this is, these two are from Tom Ford. Uh, what is it called? Photosynthesex. I might end up just tossing them. I just, 
I'm not into it. See, I don't really have any silvers. These are looksies. And you know, with this uh, pan size, I'm gonna need something large. This is a really nice shade. I think this is Starboy. You do whatever you want. You do you want. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with Starboy because that's in, like these are my newer looksy shades. My older ones, I wouldn't mind. My Sydney Grace, I'm not messing with. And like I said, my Copacetics, I would use, but I for some reason cannot find them. Cleona, I'm not messing with. Terra Moons, I'm not messing with. Now I. So we're looking for silver. This is, oh my gosh. This is Gimme Glow. Glamorous. These are my Davina highlighters. I'm not messing with those. These are my pretties for your face and shades. I wouldn't mind using these, but I, I don't have any that I would want to use. Let's see. This one wouldn't be bad. This is called, oops, I don't know what it's called, but this, this one's not bad. But it's not necessarily silver. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the texture of this. I mean, this is a highlighter. That's not going to really work. So I might just have to table this for now. This could go for shoes and parties. All right. I, I like where Millennial Pinks is going. This is working for me. It's nice. All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep going. So I've got Gemini here, and I'm gonna show you like these two, I don't need both. I really don't need both of these. I think this is ridiculous, and they don't look different. This one's gonna go, uh, Bela. That's gonna go, Lady Like I'm gonna keep. These two, I'm gonna keep these two, I like these. But one of these, I always said I wanted a, a shimmer here. So I was thinking maybe we should put this here, Fever. I have fever and lit. We could do, we could, you know what? Lit, lit might look better because this champagne or bronzy shade is gonna go really nicely with these or these. So maybe fever will save. This will give me the opportunity to do like a, a neutral type shade here. So I'm gonna take out uh, Bela. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect. And that's gonna go really nicely with the greens, the grungy greens, and the rose shades. So everything else can stay. It wasn't a bad palette. It's just this shimmer's okay. It's just so deep. I, I secretly want to change this, but I, I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna leave it because it's really nothing wrong with it. It does feel a bit mm, rough. Oops, it feels a bit rough but there's really nothing wrong with it it's like a beautiful mossy shade so but i think adding that extra light shade will be nice this one's nice so all right gemini 2 is done these two i think need to we gotta do something that's not gonna work that's just too no that doesn't go hey dude I have these from pat mcgrath read my phone this look good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have anything that's gonna. Strange love isn't bad. It's not. Ooh, what was that though? The Pat McGrath one just looks so much better though. Do I have something to mix with it? See this one. This one's nicer. I'm going to leave this for now. I cannot think about what to do with this. I'm going to have to think on this for a second. When we look at brunette, I don't know what to do with brunette either. Because I, I do love this. This is like, what is up with this hard pan? What is this? I'm not into it. These, let me check. I feel like this is coming out way better. Hot wire? Like, look at hot wire. Look at bourbon. I guess they're different shades. 
hot wire. Hot wire is good, good. Like, look at that. It closed. Bourbon out. is some, Joyce like, Andrew. different shades, but, and then let's look at stout. Stout is doing something weird, which I don't, like, why are we doing that? Nail, nail looks good. Look at these, these are the same shades almost. Beaming is crumbly. Musk is okay. Oh my god. I feel like all these champagne -y shades can probably go. This one though, I mean I have tons of champagne shades. Like I've got this one. I've got Cyber Bronze. That's Pat McGrath. This one. Lunar Legend is Pat McGrath. KKW Beauty here. Let me move this up so y'all can see. What else do we have? Um, I had another champagne color. I might have used one already, so mm, these will probably be next to go. Cause like, Stout is one of the shades I bought this palette for, and like it's, I don't know what's happening here. Smell, what is going on? This palette blueprint is way older. Sorry, this is off center. Than brunette. I feel like mm, blueprint almost might need to be done with okay this shade's good this sh and they and then you know what they might work better with brushes but i'm just saying like why and why is this getting hard panty stout has to come out stout is out all right i'm gonna do two more palettes so brunette i just moved the purple here i'm going to i'm going to leave stout alone because after manipulating it, it i'm getting it to work pretty well Right here. I'm getting it to work pretty well. So I just um, oh, I just use some tape on that. Bourbon is okay too. It's not bad. So I'm gonna leave those alone. But I did find a combo of shades. I was gonna use these to replace bourbon right here, but I think I'm just gonna not do that because when I swatch them together, they give us more green. So I think that would look nice in this palette. So these two shades we have Urbane from Luxy and Frog Face from Produce for Your Face. So I'm gonna put those in the missing spot. Now, I know I put tape on this one here, King Stud, but I did put some uh, tape and peel off a layer, and I do think it's swatching a bit better. So there it is. So that's better than what I was getting. And it's a beautiful blue. Like, I don't want to get rid of it if I don't have to. So I'm not. Um, this shade right here is still not the best but I know I'm gonna just only use that as an inner corner highlight and it'll work fine for that the shade that I don't like is this one beaming now I could just find many more champagnes that can go like these two so this is from a Natasha Denona five pan this is from Natasha Denona uh, this is from the glam palette so I've dismantled that palette a long time ago so let me swatch beaming one more time here. So there's beaming, doesn't look so bad there. But look at it in the pan, like no, we can do Tasha, look at that. Not exactly the same shade, but I kind of don't need it to be. So I think this is gonna be better. I'm gonna take this out. Can I download one more thing? Nailed. Oh, that looks good. Hmm? Can I download one more thing? Uh -huh. All right, you guys, I had to just cut in because the boys were so loud in the background <laughs> uh, when I was trying to uh, close out the video and, you know, I forgot to attach my mic. 
but I know in this video I did not declutter any palettes but I was able to reconstruct many of them so that they will spark joy for me and I'm really happy that I was able to share this with you all I really do treasure my melt cosmetics collection and they haven't had the most creativity recently but I still really love their color stories I love their palettes and I'm always waiting to see what they're going to come out with I hope that this year they will get their creative spark back and I'm sure all brands go through this but as far as for this video I hope it was inspiring to you uh, just look out for me to put these palettes in rotation and I'll be able to see if I still love and enjoy them the way that I did when I first purchased them and I'm thinking I might, might even enjoy them even more. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I do hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.